Let's take a look at family tables and libraries in Creo Parametric and Windchill. Here I am in Creo Parametric. I am connected to Windchill. Let's use the folder browser to go to the Windchill common space. And over in here right now, it's taking me back to the last place I was looking. I'm going to use the navigator inside of Windchill in the embedded browser in order to browse to a library. So by clicking on this icon over here that looks like a stack of books, it takes me to my libraries. I'm going to go to my MCAD standard parts library and then folders over here. And right now I have no folders in here. I'm gonna create one folder. Again, this is something that you're usually not gonna have permissions to do. Your system administrators will take care of this for you. But I'm going to create a folder for a crankshaft and then I'm gonna click the finish button and I'm gonna open up a part with a family table and check it into this location. Uh, that is good for this over here. Now let's open up our server manager and create a new workspace. I strongly recommend that you get in the practice of new task, new workspace. So from the server manager, which by the way, I have added to the quick access toolbar because I use it so much. I'm going to use the workspace command and then choose new. And for the context, let me select the library that I just created. And again, I like to name it using the date. I think today is the sixth and I'm going to call it my crank shaft family table and click the OK button. My new workspace is created. Let me close out of here. I can again go to the workspace command in the folder browser and right now it is empty inside of here. You have a pick an action drop down list and from here you can choose things like edit preferences. So here I can specify where I want stuff to be automatically checked into that is from this workspace. So for example, any CAD documents, let me use the browse button and I'll choose that folder that I just created. Same thing for parts, those WT parts that I'm going to have automatically generated. I want them to go into the same folder as well. So I will click the OK button and Anything else in here I need to change? Part configuration, specification, no, everything here is fine. I'm not doing any document stuff. Let's click the OK button. So that's how I'm setting the preferences for this particular workspace in order to save myself time later on. Besides your workspace preferences, you also have additional wind chill preferences. And to get them to them, you go to the quick links command in the top corner of the windshield interface then you can go to my settings and preferences and i want the option to auto associate parts turned on automatically and to locate it, if you happen to know where it is you can browse through here but there are hundreds of different preferences that you have for wind chill. I happen to know that this particular one is located underneath the operation group and so I could expand to get to it but you have a nice little search field that you can use instead and so this is for auto associating so I'm going to search on the keyword associate and hit the enter key and it goes right to it, auto associate upon check-in. And right now that is set to no. I want the preference set to yes. So you can right click on the preference and then choose set preference. This opens up a dialog box and I can click yes. Uh, I'll change to that radio button. You can write a comment if you want. There's a revert to default button over here, but that's all I want to do. Let's click the okay button. And now that auto associate option will automatically automatically be turned on whenever I go to check something in all right so that's good let's collapse that and now I'm going to open up my part now click on the open button over here it's automatically going to look in my workspace let me navigate on my computer to where I have those files. And so when I go to the open button, you'll see that here I have a part and then I've got a whole bunch of other different parts listed in here with the first part 
in brackets that's an indication that hey this is these are the generics for these different family table instances let's take a look though at how this looks on my computer disk so here I am in Windows Explorer. I went to that same location over here and we only see three objects in here. I have the part and there's a version with dot one. That was the first time I created it. And then I did some work. I made the different family table instances in there and saved it again. So that's the dot two. So when you're working local, every time that you do a save, you're going to get a new iteration of your file and the dot one, the dot two, so forth and so on. That's how Creo Parametric indicates the different iterations. I also have something here called an instance accelerator file. It just helps to retrieve family table instances, and it's the name of the folder.idx. All right, let me minimize this, and I'm going to start off by opening up the generic over here. And it gives me the select instance dialog box where you can choose if you want to open up the generic or one of the uh, particular instances. You have the by column tab that enables you to filter based on different columns in the family table. But again, I'm just going to open up the generic model over here. Let's click open. So this is what my crankshaft generic looks like. If I want to see the family table, you can go to the model intent overflow menu and choose family table. It's also available right from the tools tab in part mode. We can see that we have a number of different instances in here and they've got the common name specified and here are the different columns for the instances. If I want to see what one looks like, I can just click on it in the row and then use the eyeglasses and I'll preview that particular instance in this little window. Let's close that and I will click the OK button out of here. Now I will save this particular file. When I hit the save button, now it's actually going to save it in my workspace since I'm connected to Windchill. Let me go to the folder browser again and workspace. And now you can see that we have all these different objects in our workspace and they are showing up as new. I want to get them into Windchill now. So let's check them in. I will use the select all button. Actually, let me not use the select all button. I'll just select the generic. I happen to know that the dash zero 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 is the generic let's go to check that particular one in and you'll notice because I selected the generic it's automatically grabbing all the different instances to be checked in as well and also if we take a look at the location it's automatically going to the crankshaft folder based on that workspace preference that I selected let me click on the next button over here You'll notice that the auto associate parts to CAD documents option is checked because I set that preference for windchill. As long as that is set, anytime I go to check something in, this will automatically be checked over here. And I'm going to choose the option to remove from workspace. This is all I wanted to do with that particular file over here. So that's good. Let's click the finish button out of here. And now you can see the progress bar as it is trying to check in. Here we have information down at the bottom of the screen. We have the swimming sharks down at the bottom. And it says, hey, erase confirmation. The following objects will be removed from session. Since I checked that option to remove from workspace, it's also got to remove that model from being open in Creo Parametric. Let's click the OK button out of here. All right, and so you can see that my workspace is empty over here. Let's use the breadcrumb trail in order to go back to our library. And then we have the folder. I'll click on its hyperlink. And there we can see all the objects that we have in the workspace right now. So we've got the WT part the wind chill part we've got the different CAD documents in here you can see that they're all set to a1 based on the versioning scheme that I have set up here out of the box and so in that way we're able to get our family table of our instances into our library so that we can use them over and over again and just for a quick note on the distinction between products and libraries 
Stuff that you're going to use on multiple different product lines, you're typically going to put into a library, and usually everyone will have access to those libraries. So think about things like your fasteners or O-rings or uh, different cabling connectors and back shells. Those things would usually be in your libraries. And then the parts, assemblies, and drawings that you make specifically to a particular product or product line that you're going to sell, those are going to be in the products. And sometimes you have something that's in a product and you decide, you know what, this is really going to be a library item because I'm going to use it over and over again. So you can move stuff from your products into the libraries as necessary. And so that's how you can use family tables with Creole Parametric and Windchill. And one thing to note is that, again, when I was looking on my local drive, I only had a couple files for the generic part. But in Windchill, you're going to end up with an individual object for each one of your instances and the generic. Let's go to the object information page for the uh, crankshaft over here. And if I go to related objects, I can go to the WT part over here. This is the wind chill part for the particular object. And we can see its information and we can go back to the CAD models object information page as well. The details tab, that's where you're going to see all of the metadata associated with the object. Be aware that normally you would have a viewable of the object in here. On my instance of windchill that I put together, I haven't gotten the publishing set up yet, so that's why it just looks like a newspaper factory line where they actually do the printing of the newspaper because this hasn't published yet. Let me see, let me add in a new tab over here from the customize button. We can also add additional buckets of information. So for example, I can go to related objects and then choose family. And that way I'm now able to see all the different instances of my family table located here on this additional tab. It's right now called new tab one. You can right click on it and choose rename. And then I could call this my family and click the, I can spell family correctly, family, click the okay button. And now I've got a new tab in here that I could use to access all the individual instances for this particular family table. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.